Wednesday 18th of April 2012 I took um, one trade on the euro and I took five trades on the Russell the one trade I took on the euro was break even unfortunately uh, just take you, take you through it quickly these times are UK times so the volume came in about 8 o'clock this is euro futures by the way just in case you're interested it's not the euro USD spot market I prefer to use the futures chart so I can get the, the, the volume information. Um, actually, the Euro USD spot market tick volume does correspond to the actual currency futures volume quite well in terms of the spikes, the highs, and the lows. Um, anyway, I saw this channel move upwards, um, but it was on low volume compared to this move down. and all of the EMAs here are sloping downwards. 60 minute chart is down and we are in a trading range on the daily chart. So to me it looks that we had no more demand to go higher and the pressure was on the selling side. So with this in mind I wanted to get short under this pin bar here, uh, this bar 121. Um, I missed the sell stop order to sell under there. What I wanted to do is wait for, for a kind of a breakout of the trend line. I didn't actually miss it. I, I, I just let, let this go and then placed a limit order to sell uh, one pit below this bar here. So I got filled on bar 123 and I've started implementing time stops into my trading. Um, if the trade isn't moving in my favour within 15 minutes when trading a five minute chart I will exit the position straight away. This is to prevent me from, I've noticed a lot of my losing trades could have been break even or slightly winning or slightly losing if I'd exited them earlier. So on this occasion unfortunately it has caused me to uh, miss the trade. But that's fine, I'm happy with that. Um, at least I didn't um, I mean the market could have easily have just based here and gone straight up um, but there was no movement from my entry so I just wanted to get out straight away uh, the second trade that I missed I didn't take this one so I missed two trades here never mind um, this one I did miss I saw that the candle poke out of this this micro channel line here and then um, it, it started moving down so when this candle closed I put a limit order in at the ask and didn't get a fill. What I should have done there is sold the bid or sold market um, but I didn't. So that's the euro. Let's uh, pause now and we'll just quickly go over the Russell trades. Actually before we go to the Russell in case you're wondering we had a very very choppy move down and noticed that the price was kind of hanging off this EMA here. I thought we were going to get a push higher uh, because of this price action, you know, trying to push lower, trying to push lower, trying to push lower, and finding buyers at each push down. And the market did push up here, and then I just felt I felt like shorting at this area. That's why I've drawn this this, this line in here. Um, but the volume was was low. We had a, a strong spike up on high volume here. It just looked to me like a trading range. Lots of overlapping bars. Uh, and low probability so I skipped a my thinking at the time was a sell stop and a bar 174 um, for a move down which happened but but um, later in the day we did get the move down and then we moved higher so quite a choppy day on the euro uh, so, so I'm glad I didn't take that anyway let's go on to the Russell yeah, the market's still open it's got 20 minutes left um, but I'm not taking any more trades today. So let's quickly go through my five Russell trades. First trade was on bar two. Um, so I had a big push down on the gap into the overnight low. Uh, we had a failed push lower and we came back up uh, pretty convincingly, closed on the high. Uh, so basically a failed breakout um, to the downside. So entered with a sell st uh, buy stop um, above the top here and basically got stopped out uh, on this pin bar here. It's unfortunate because if the market had just gone straight up I would have 
uh, made a profit. Um, second trade is bar six, this one here. Um, market came up on this candle, bar five, and let me switch these crosshairs off. Bar five, and um, I placed a limit order to sell the ask uh, just above the close of bar five. Um, we had some and thought they would have some resistance there because we filled the gap um, and we'd come back down. Looking like a, a trading range day, overlapping bars. So I was thinking um, buy low, sell high, scalp, as Al Brooks likes to say. So that worked out quite well. I made a little mistake here. I sold, got filled here, took 10 ticks profit on bar 7. <coughs> At that point I moved my stop down to break even and I should have maybe put it above this bar, maybe a couple of ticks above bar 7. If I'd done that I'd have got plus 10, plus 20 um, or maybe even back down to the lows of the day. Um, so that's something to for me to bear in mind for the future is to not be too scared to um, leave the second half of the position um, beyond break even. Bar 13, third trade of the day, pin bar into the low, tried to push lower, found buyers and put a buy stop above this bar and took plus 10 plus 20 on that one. Um, could possibly maybe have left that one to run up to the EMA, all hindsight trading of course, but as it was a, a tight training range day and a lot of very much back and forth, back and forth, I thought I would take my profits where I could. So I was quite keen to not let them run too much as we're not trending. Um, bar 25, we broke down here from this trend line, look, looking very much like a push lower. Um, so we looked for a, um, a, sh a short, basically. So I had a pullback up to here close on the low in this bearish bar so I had a sell stop under bar 25 and took a 11 tick loss on that one and then uh, placed I saw this bar come up here on quite low volume I know we're kind of almost going into lunchtime period but um, there was that was pretty weak demand coming up to this area here and I saw this EMA as resistance so one tick above this high I had a sell limit order to again buy buy low sell high scalp and took plus 10 plus 20 on that one so a bit of a choppy day a bit of a choppy equity curve as well to reflect that um, but came away with plus 21 ticks on two contracts for each entry so basically one point profit on two contracts. So not great, but um, uh, profitable overall.